coming up. This is a program that wanting to be on the forefront of whatever marketing opportunities that can realize them the most premium for their product. Anytime we, we can expand our market is a boost to our industry. 44, that's our goal. Hear the story of why the Prime Pursuits partnership with Walmart works so well for one California ranch, next on The American Rancher. Minnick, and welcome to the American Rancher. The 44 Farms and Prime Pursuits partnership with Walmart is now in its third year of operation. This producer-driven program benefits Angus producers everywhere, and one of those is Mitt French, who is also the president of French and San Benito Ranches, located an hour south of San Francisco. Mitt has sold cattle to the Prime Pursuits partnership since day one. French Ranch uh, started with my great-grandfather in 1871, so I've been here my entire life, and, you know, except for a few little escapades. I cowboyed here for, I don't know, 15 years, and then uh, took over from my predecessor, Doug White, and uh, learned a great deal from him. And then I've been president of uh, Los Angeles Corp uh, since 1994. The ranch is uh, very large for California standards. You know, we've always been a, obviously a cattle operation. Uh, things change, things are changing in California a great deal. So it's a lot different than you know, when my wife and I first started going and buying bulls in the mid 90s. You know, we're looking for longevity of, of the ranch. You know, we have to evolve. Shipping at uh, San Benito Cattle Company in Hollister, California. Uh, nine loads of them to eight of them will go to Nebraska for prime pursuits. The uniqueness of this operation here is is one that um, is enjoyable to work with. They're wanting to be on the forefront of, of whatever technology is available to them, but also whatever marketing opportunities and, and programs that, that can realize them the most premium for their product, because uh, they do have a product that, that it has uh, accelerated towards a, a higher end premium driven market. You know, 15, 18 years ago, when some of the first value added programs were coming along, Whole Foods type programs and those things, uh, they were one of the very first to get on board then. And it's uh, a well-run, well-managed ranch that is very adamant about elite genetics. They buy a very, very good product here, build a very good cow herd, have a 30-year plus top 10, 15% across the board uh, trait leader perspective when they're uh, making their genetic selections. And then they match those genetics up accordingly. I didn't want to just, you know, be one uh, you know, orient toward just uh, the quality grade. We wanted to keep our yield grades uh, in check. Thanks to Dennis, we, uh, uh, he's always uh, looking out for our interests and, and introduce us to uh, Prime Pursuits and, and 44 Farms with their, their association with Walmart. And that uh, really is a boost to our industry. I mean, any, any time we, we can expand our market, which they did, is a great thing. They don't just random turn bulls out. They match IMF and ribeye bulls with performance and vice versa. So anyhow, the uniqueness of all that, to get them into a position where they can get rewarded for those efforts, they've spent a tremendous amount of money managing the cattle genetically. We try to get them rewarded uh, on the other end for those uh, valuable genetics that they're purchasing. Not only are they genetically driven uh, for uh, their entire cow herd, but then they're also premium added value market driven too. And, and the combination of the two makes for an excellent uh, relationship with uh, Prime Pursuits and 44 for that matter. And, uh, and it makes it uh, here at Superior, it makes it a pleasure to, to market those kind of cattle uh, in a competitive bidding system. 
These cattle, uh, they've been on feed uh, on our grow ration. They came out, we weaned them on the ranch, and then a few weeks later we brought them into uh, this area here where they're out in big fields, but they can come up to old pins that this wasn't a, a feedlot at one, one time, a very active one. Now we just have the bunks open to these fields, and so we can uh, get the cattle so their bunk broke, and then we also clean them up. The cattle stay much healthier because they're in their own environment. We, we started uh, doing embryo work. We did um, gene marker testing years and years ago and with Igenity. And so we think that we can really add some more value to the Prime Pursuits program and 44 Farms. But I, I can tell you that uh, it's been well worthwhile. As Dennis can tell you, uh, we're very picky about our bulls. First we look at the numbers. When I get a, a catalog uh, for a bull sale, that's the first thing I do. I go through and uh, pick out the things that are really important to us. And then, uh, and then when we go to a 44 sale, uh, then, then we go and look at the phenotypical parts of things. And they, they have such a great number to go through that even as picky as we are, we can, we can mark a tremendous number of bulls that will fit our program. 44, not only are they uh, a first class operation, but um, they're committed. Quite frankly, there's, there's a lot of bulls out there, but they're, you know, maybe they're not quite what we want, but 44 has them. After the break. If you're having issues with any bulls, you're gonna find it when they're out here, so. I uh, just think it's a better way to develop bulls. We'll look behind the scenes to see how bulls are developed at 44 Farms. That's after the break here on The American Rancher. Hola, me llamo Tomás Cardona, aquí de 44 Farms. Los quiero invitar el 22 de octubre a la venta de otoño aquí en Cambron, Texas. Habrá 610 toros con mucha fuerza para cualquier programa que ustedes ocupen. Welcome back to the American Rancher. The quality that customers have come to expect from 44 Farms didn't happen overnight. The foundation of the breeding program begins with a disciplined strategy that improves their top-end genetics every year. We've got a real extensive AI and ET program here at 44. Uh, we hand select some of the best donors across the country and hand pick through our donors uh, as through our young stock as well to produce donors that are going to make uh, just calves that are really stout and soft and uh, can got some movement to them, can really get out and move and breed some cows for you guys. These are some uh, March calves that we've worked this wean. Bull calves, they've been weaned about three days now. So most of the time they're pretty bunk broke already, but just get them, get them started on a good, uh, you know, high dry matter ration and we'll put, leave them on that starter ration for about three weeks. Once we get the ball off of them, we'll move them out to these 20, 30 acre grass traps that are, you know, they're running on coastal um, all year, but we're also supplementing them and feeding them as well after about three weeks on the starter ration, which is a real high roughage, uh, high dry matter diet. Switch them over to that grower ration, which is a little wetter diet, uh, set them up to gain about three pounds a day. Uh, try to hit a target of 1,200 pounds at a year of age. Um, and then we'll switch them over to a maintenance ration, which is a, a really high roughage ration uh, to, get them, to get them hardened up and get them adapted uh, so they can go to work for our customers. We develop them in these big coastal traps, you know, 15, 20 acre traps. Uh, we think it, uh, we think it does a really good job of, you know, letting the bulls get out and move. They're not locked up. Um, you know, structurally, I think they develop better. Uh, it keeps their feet and legs better. Uh, just gets them where they can move around and they're traveling and they're, you know, not just stuck in one spot. And uh, definitely, if, if you're going to find, if you're having issues with any bulls, you're going to find it when they're out here. So. I uh, just think it's a better way to develop bulls. They're on coastal or on grass uh, year round, 365 days a year. Every cow on the place here at 44 uh, is either a donor, a recip, or gets uh, at least one shot at an AI every year. Um, our donor program, we, we flush over 100 donors, 100 different donors throughout the year, uh, put in about 2,000 embryos a year. So, pretty intensive donor program. Like, we uh, run those. 
uh, embryo calves in East Texas, and then we've got some around here within 15 miles of the, the headquarters here in Cameron. But uh, bring those calves in, treat them just the same as the rest. Uh, they get weaned, uh, kick them out in these big grass traps and just kind of develop them, try to develop them slow and keep them sound uh, where they can move around and uh, you know be sound whenever we sell them to our customers. From the bull standpoint, we like to provide a sound and functional bull that's, uh, that's ready to turn out whenever he gets delivered to your place. we got the vet here today, Dr. Trey Richter from Rogers, Texas. Uh, SEMA checking and trick testing all these bulls. We're 45 days away from the sale. So um, sale prep is really on our minds here at 44 and that's what uh, we're doing today. When sale day finally rolls around, 44 Farms breeding and bull development programs are heavily scrutinized by an army of customers from across the country. We run a cow-calf operation up there, just run commercial cows and sell them on Superior Video. 44 Farms bought a big group of our calves last year and we were happy with what they did for us and so we want to make sure and keep the relationship going. So we started buying bulls here last year and this will be our second year buying it. Basically, we talk to 44 and what kind of bulls they want to buy the calves back out of is the stuff that we want to kind of be buying. So big, deep, deep gutted, big base, big hip on them, and also have as much carcass as we can, you know, get and still like the quality of the bull. So you see, you're seeing what you want? Yeah, that's our first pen we're going through and just getting started, but we're seeing some good ones for sure. Today we're looking for a, uh, another herd sire bull. That's the one up there, you know, stout, masculine. Some good uh, EPDs on him. He's a high marbling bull, high growth bull. So with the data that I get back from the uh, Prime Pursuit program, right now I'm getting a um, high choice. And like I said, I'm just looking to expand on that and, and start getting some primes in also. Well, I run a cow calf operation. Um, you know, we calve out in December, and we usually uh, wean off about July and. But as a small producer, Prime Pursuit, I usually haul the cattle out here myself because um, I only have, like I said, 20 head. But they do take them. Uh, I have to bring them to the stocker yard in uh, Marlin, Texas. And the premium is it, worth the drive for me, uh, the premiums that I get. We've been backgrounding some cattle in South Dakota um, for Prime Pursuits. Uh, Angus Genetics, uh, a lot of good northern cattle that come out of there that they've been sourcing and we've been backgrounding some cattle for them and, and then shipping them to feedlots in Nebraska. So, but it's a partnership, you know. On our, on our own cattle, we have, we have sent them all through Prime Pursuits and been able to get our carcass data and track carcass data on our individual cattle. And it's been very helpful in terms of making bull selections for on down the road. It's our first bull auction. Yeah, we're starting our herd and we wanted to start with the best. We're looking at, you know, birthing ease at getting started and, um, you know, we want to, you know, sell great quality cattle. I'm looking for a, a low birth weight, high calving need, fast growing bull with a good genetic. I bought a several bull from them over a long five years ago. Uh, they've been very good. I uh, have a really good bull and my customers enjoy the caves that I'm selling them. We're trying to look for a Angus bull to go on some Brahma cattle or we gotta put them on some F1 tiger stripes. We got the structure on them, you know, the sound underneath. We like flat back stuff and uh, good hips in the back. And up off the ground. And, uh, some of it's in the bloodline. We're looking at some, some of the bloodlines, but most of it just appearance. This year we're looking for more of a terminal cross. We're in the Prime Pursuits program with 44 Farms. It's been really good to us. We're getting feedback as we go on how our cattle feed and everything else, so, and we try to buy bulls accordingly and, and make them fit the program. I bought a lot of bulls from here in the past, and uh, they've always done me well. So you get a, a pretty good bonus on the on the whole whole group of calves. So uh, you know it's a it's a good premium for the cow calf producer, and uh, 
you get the data back on, on your cattle and you, you kind of can tell which direction you need to go. Up next. If you're wanting to keep replacement females out of some of your cow herd, or if you're interested in the prime pursuits program, we've got a really defined carcass program here at 44. Details for putting prime pursuits qualified genetics in your pasture are coming up after the break. You're watching The American Rancher. Howdy. I want to invite you to the 44 Farms Fall Bull Sale, October the 22nd, here at the ranch. We're going to sell 610 big stout pasture raised bulls that are going to be ready to go to work for you. Sale starts at 1030. We're going to have food ready at 930 and the bulls are going to be ready for viewing at 8 o'clock. Bring the whole family. It'll be a great day. Welcome back to the American Rancher. The annual 44 Farms Fall Bull Sale is just around the corner. This is your opportunity to purchase bulls that are optimized for the Prime Pursuits partnership with Walmart. Well, October is here, and that means the Fall Bull Sale at 44 Farms, and we're so excited about this particular offering. It is so deep from top to bottom, and bulls in every price range. So we'd love to have you join us on October 22nd. We think you'll have the opportunity to really buy some great genetics that'll help your program. So please join us. We're excited about all of our different programs. If you're not part of our Prime Pursuits program, that is our program with Walmart, uh, where we're selling McLaren Farms Angus beef in over 500 stores in the southeastern part of the country. We would love to have you a part of that program. Likewise, we continue to move forward in our 44 Farms food service programs as well, where we serve restaurants and food service operations around the country. So a lot of ways to be connected with what we're doing here at 44 Farms and Prime Pursuits. So please, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to give us a call. You know, we're in a people business, and that's what really gets me excited about this particular industry. We have the chance to touch people daily around their table where they can bring their family and friends together and enjoy great Angus beef. You know, we have a honored position, the center of the table with consumers around the country. So we take that very seriously and it, our job is to provide a great eating experience every single time. So we feel excited about the future of the industry. We're very excited about our place and we'd love to have you more and more involved in what we're doing at 44 Farms and Prime Pursuits. One of the most exciting aspects of the Prime Pursuits program is our ability to provide quality carcass closeout information back to our producers. Um, so that data is direct from the harvester and includes um, quality grade, yield grade, weight information, um, and we want to provide that back to our producers so that it helps meet their goals for their operations. Now we've got one of the largest databases in the business that we can use to analyze the genetic potential of our producers, and 44 Farms genetics continue to come out on top. So any sire purchased through the 44 Farms bull sale, the resulting progeny would qualify those calves for uh, the Prime Pursuits program we have with Walmart that's been a really successful program over the last couple years. These bulls will work in any environment from the high deserts of the northwest uh, to the salt grass and the swamps of the uh, coast of the Gulf of Mexico, all the way into uh, the Everglades in Florida. Just a really rounded set of bulls that uh, we think will perform in any environment. We feel we've got a, a very rounded program here at 44. Um, you can find bulls that are that'll go to work if you're wanting to keep replacements, replacement females out of some of your cow herd, or if you're interested in the Prime Pursuits program, we've got a really defined carcass program here at 44, uh, really focused on the carcass genetics, uh, growth, growth weaning, but also we offer quite a few Cavanese bulls too that for you guys that are keeping replacements. Uh, we know that the drought's been around and a lot of people have sold off cows, so. The replacement heifer deal is going to be a big deal going, you know, going forward for the next couple of years. And uh, look, look to us for some heifer bulls. We've got uh, exactly what you need. 
there's a lot of fun things in our industry and you know I love the cowboy as much as anybody and, and that and that's 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 where I came from but every consumer should when they uh, purchase a beef item it's got to knock them out that it's the best thing they ever had that should be our ultimate goal and 44 that's their goal we hope you enjoyed the show we always enjoy our visit to 44 farms to find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For our entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.